When I came to live in Wexford, I discovered and joined the plein air painting group because I loved sketching in the countryside. It brought me to places which I normally wouldn't have visited. I'm not a traditionally landscape painter, but I love sketching in the countryside. And the images I sketch, I bring back to the studio and use them for my new series of paintings, which are based on an imaginary landscape. You can imagine, as I grew up in the large city of Utrecht in the Netherlands, when I came to Ireland, I was excited by the countryside. It was a revelation to me. As I grew up in the Netherlands, which has a flat countryside, you can imagine that I was excited by the landscape of Ireland. Its diversity, mountains, rivers, hills, beaches. It was a great inspiration to me. The fields are like a tapestry. I like to use flowers in my paintings and they're more emotive than that it's actual a recognizable flower. They create a contrast between the landscape and the flower. Just uh, I put them on the foreground so that the landscape is in perspective and with that I cre create distance and space. And also the flowers are there you know, to enjoy in the painting and to create more color because without them the landscape would be very much green and blue. And a lot of that imagery has appeared in my new paintings, which I would like to show you today. You saw me sketching sheep in the landscape and here they are in my painting. I love the old bridges, the stone, and the shape of the arches. These are familiar sites in the Irish landscape. The cottage, the lighthouse and the tower. And this is Finnecke Hill in Enniscorti, which I see from my window every day. I was looking for a way to express the joy of the landscape in my paintings. And I decided to combine it with another interest of mine, which is the knitting. And as you see, here is a woman knitting a landscape, which at the same time is a tapestry of her memories. And this is also the title of the painting. As the sun is the source of light, in this painting it is represented by a ball of wool, which is the source of the knitted landscape. And at the same time, it's the playing field for the child. Children in my paintings represent innocence, playfulness and curiosity. In this painting, the mother knits for her it's a serious occupation. But the child, she reaches out to the ball of wool, which is just a placing for her. Another child, for the child, the landscape, which is knitted, is just a playground. And here she puts her toy horse in the field. Again, we see here a ball of wool as the sun. The mother seriously into her knitting and focused on it, but the child peeps over the blanket, is curious and wonders, what is mama doing? Is this something for me to play with? These are just some samples of my work. I would like to show you now a selection of my paintings based on these themes.
Thank you for visiting my studio. I hope you have enjoyed my explanation and you are welcome to come again.